the uh, derogatory that comments. To our... Yeah, I mean, a guy that's a food critic that's going to drink spaghetti sauce on his own television show. I it's really a strange cat, man. I'm sorry. You can call me a strange cat just because I'm trying to get through the unopened jarred sauces that we couldn't get to during Sauce Fest 2023. Did you see your rail is, is on sale there for like two bucks off? And I bought a jar the other day yeah. before it even was posted on Let's Eat South Florida by somebody else. It was like six fifty, and, and, and the stuff's good. There's no question. It's, 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 it's good. Again, my top three right now is my number one. It didn't one blow my mind or anything, but it, it was good. I mean, start. What do you want? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's 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 good for John Sons. Yeah. But before that, I mean, my top three are Carbone, and then like in the two A and two B spot, right, kind of neck and neck is the Reals, and we're talking strict marinara here. I'm doing nothing so but straight marinara up, yeah, plain old sauce. And yeah. the other one was that Victoria that I didn't that we didn't get to do the blind tasting of, but when I had it uh, uh, at my house last week, and I drank it on the show last week out of the jar. It's just really good and deep and rich, and I loved it. And to me, it's uh, it would be in my heavy rotation, particularly because it's only goes for six ninety nine regular price, not that eight ninety nine nine ninety nine range that some of the other ones do. And right. apparently, uh, public sometimes has it bogo. So if you could get two jars of that Victoria sauce for you know uh, seven bucks at three fifty each, that's a great deal. Now this sauce. Oh, is oh did you see though? No Publix uh, doing a public service. Uh, you, you often uh, you know. Uh, give them a hard time about their egg prices, but they now have the eggs on layaway, literally. <laughs> you can make installment payments and come back and get your dozen after like three easy payments of four bucks. So it's great. That's good. All right. Antonio Carlo did not make the uh, the blind tasting, but I opened the jar. Um, and the thing that struck me about this was two things. First of all, it has this Italian flag and it says, uh, you know, original recipe, handcrafted marinara sauce. And you think it's Italian. Well, it uses apparently Italian tomatoes, but it's produced in Wilmington, North Carolina. Well, and, uh, say New Jersey. New Jersey has good tomatoes. New Jersey has good. Yeah. No, but again, I don't know. It, it says, I think that they said from fresh, from imported fresh plum tomatoes. So it could be imported from anywhere. Who knows? Nice. Uh, um, but anyway, uh, here we go. We're going to take a sample. Yeah, you're just going to drink it? I mean, a spoon uh, wouldn't be appropriate? Oh, my God. <laughs> See, this is a sick person, uh, Mike uh, Lubitz. Uh, don't you believe this? Uh, we we have pumped him up to international acclaim with no. his various uh, television and radio. This does not make the cut. Oh, this is okay. No good. I'm making a face. First of all, the first thing oh, I got hit with. I got hit with like this basil flavor, and and the label says that it uses fresh basil, but it tastes like that dried basil that that uh, Tom T hates so much. That was the first. Tommy T were... should be the judge of all of this stuff, anyway. I mean, yeah. he, he is the most qualified of all of them. And and it, it basically, that's the first hint that I got was that kind of dried basil flavor. The tomatoes, it seems a little thin, and and it's like they're chunky too. I don't like that chunky thing. And the weird part is, I'm looking at the label here. It has the most calories of any sauce that I bought. It has 130 calories per serving the other ones were in the six well what do they 90? consider a serving like a tablespoon i mean that, that's it deceptive also considered uh an ounce uh, serving size looks like a half cup so that would be four ounces that's the standard. Have- that's nothing i mean i'm pouring half a jar on the smallest amount of no, no, but uh, that's a serving a half so four ounces of sauce this one has 130 calories the other ones were i think the victoria only had 70 now that's a function of the olive oil, this one apparently uses, oh, yeah, look, 10 grams. If of you're eating pasta dough with uh, giant, uh, spaghetti sauce, are you counting calories? That, that's, no, but that's what I'm saying. If you're going to have more calories, why wouldn't it have more flavor, right? Wouldn't yeah. that be more? Right. Oh. I would think I would get more of the velvety subtlety of the of the, of the, of the the olive oil usually gives it that good kind of fuller, rich, and, that you know, it just kind of gives it a smoother and and uh, nice flavor. But there's a, apparently a lot of olive oil in here, but I don't I don't like the flavor at all. All right, so you're going back for more. Uh, that, that's what I like about you. You just condemned it as being a complete fraud and uh, not even handmade. Look, unlike, uh, you know. unlike Portnoy, my rule is not just one bite. you got to take at least two or three sips before you can get a full opinion. And I'm going to put it on some pasta. I'm going to try it on food. Maybe it's better try on, it on food. food. But I don't like this. I mean, just if I was doing the blind taste test, this one would be no 